Hey guys, it's Ray here. I'm here to give you guys a quick overview and unboxing of the Type Moon 10th Anniversary Saber figure. So, what's Type Moon? Type Moon is a visual novel company. Well, yeah, they're a visual novel company. They make made visual novels like Fate Stay Night, Tsukihime, to name a few. I can't name the new one they just came out with because it's a really hard name. So, who is Saber? Saber is from Fate Stay Night, a visual novel. There are. Th What's Fate Stay Night? It's a game with a lot of bad endings, to be honest. Unless you use a walkthrough. <laughs> anyway, so it's the 10th year anniversary type moon, so they decided to make a limited edition figure. So here it is. This is the 10th anniversary Saber. Okay, as you can see, this is the box. Type Moon, 10th Anniversary, right there. 10th Anniversary, Type Moon. Let's figure up close. Tenth anniversary, 10th Anniversary, some stuff. And it has a Type Moon, right there. Other stuff, call them if you, want. you live in Japan, have a warranty. I don't, because I don't live in Japan. 10th Year, 10th Year, there's a 10th Year logo. So yeah, that's it. So what's in the box? Inside the box is a manual for how you put on a sword and take off the head. If you guys want to change the body, you could so you can use two hands or that one one-handed sword thing. So it yeah, comes with two swords. I'll show you guys it. And there's a nice pattern inside the box. Titan Towers. Cool thing about this compared to Gershmile Company's uh, one of the scale figures is that there are no twist ties. No twist ties. That's really good. I hate twist ties. Okay, here's the base. You guys can see that it says 10th Anniversary Type Moon. Type Moon 10th Anniversary. Pegs put crap on. Here's the figure itself. Okay. So let's go with the accessories. So here's the sheath. No, well, the handle. Sword handle. So there's, all you, there's only one way of putting it in, so. Like, you can't put it in that. Oh, wait, you can. That's a pop way, you can't put it in the other way. Because one side is more angled than the other. So here's one of the swords, it's quite large. You guys can see. There's another blade. Here's something, I don't know. It it comes with this pole right here, this stick. Stick. This goes in here and then does this. Because this is for support. And the figure itself. Oh, no, not really. So this is her holding two hands together. So if she's wielding two swords, as you can see. It comes in four pieces if you count the head, so it's plastic to divide her, yada yada yada. Look, it's panties. Oh god. So let's put this together. Uh the the costume is quite when I it's really the costume is really uh 
It's really delicate, so watch out when you're handling this. Trust me, I know. It's not like I can. Yeah, I, I dropped this figure. I legitly dropped it. The cool thing is, only if you heel broke off, I super glued it back to its proper place, but it has a crack on it, which makes me really sad. And here is her one handed sword. So it snaps on like a normal sword. Just move it up. There. So here's Saber 10th Anniversary Edition. This is what it looks like from default. Let's get it close. I believe you could also make her. You could also make her. Uh, uh, do that. Hold a two-handed sword with one hand. She has Titan's grip. Grip. So, get up close. It's quite detailed. Here's the sword. Shots because I can. Yeah, you guys can see the super glue over there I use. That super glue is amazing because it's a uh, ballpoint. It's like a pen, so I just basically just if I want to write something, I could write something in super glue and then rip it off someone, and then they'll have the pattern of uh, the letters, so I could say asshole, and then just slap it on someone, and then rip off the paper, and they would say asshole. Why? Because I can. So I'm really sad. You guys can't see it, but there's like, yeah, you see that crack right there. I think I could probably fix it. Just use some. It's not that bad. I'll be honest. I I lined it up perfectly, so I don't really mind. So you guys can see. So I think there's no warranty. Cause I don't live in Japan. Where's the green light? What was my indicator on anyway? You guys can see tenth anniversary. Tenth anniversary. Let's move this. Just get a side shot. I'm gonna guess that white pole is for support. Here's the back. Over back. Here's the side. Some more detail. Look at the head detail. I noticed with this figure, it has some imperfections, like it's not really smooth. Like you can see lines in it, so lines in some holes. Some more detail. It looks quite nice, I won't lie. Remember, this is the 10th anniversary Saber edition from Pack Moon. Let's do the other. Oh, this sword. Let's put this back on here. You know, I I notice that I breathe a lot when I feel when I record. I wish I could stop, but I can't. See, I can fit the two hands, so I sh technically should be able to. Yes, you have to. I'm I'm using the boobs as support. Why? Because I can. Can she hold it? Can she hold it? She can't hold it. 
This is her with a giant sword. She has a giant sword. And then you can take off that giant sword. Hmm. Let's do another close up. The giant sword. And I'll show you guys the details and stuff. So here's the sword. Here's the details. You, get, you guys can tell it's always quite long. I think it's almost as tall as her. We. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, actually, that makes sense because her, her cleavage is like. I wonder if that hurts. Probably doesn't, but it looks so awkward. I'm sorry. How the bondage is being lifted up, but like it's attached to her neck, you guys can see. So it's like I, I don't know if that's strangling her. It seems like that would strangle her. So, ever as you, it's so in detail. Let's look under it. And yes, she has panties, but I'm not showing you guys that. You see in her glory. Okay, let's switch the body parts. If you guys saw, I just like ripped off. I I, I separated her. I had separated her body from her legs. And you guys can see. So, yeah. So it'd be easy to do this. Sword off her hand. Bitch, that's my sword. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay. So this is how you move the head. As you can see, there's only one way to put it in. This is the pattern. And I have a hunch that this holds this. This probably holds that. No, it doesn't. My hunch is wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Who knows what this is for? You guys can tell me what it, it's for. Thanks in advance. Maybe you just hold the swords, but I highly doubt it. Like I can see, there's only w yeah. That means there's only one angle the head goes, in one position. Here, here's a close up to the head. Like, does the ribbon same color as her? Yeah. I don't know where she's looking. Doesn't look impressed. The specific angle and yeah, just slides in. It's quite loose, the upper body, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get rid of it. Let's put this one on. Cause I don't know what sword this is. It looks quite nice, but I don't know where it's from. Let's read the guide. I have had to put this into her hands properly. Oh wait, no, this makes sense. This totally makes sense. No, this doesn't make sense at all. Oh, the crap. Don't tell me it's only like. So apparently I'm supposed to take this off. You know what? I don't care. Okay, this makes sense. There you go. Oh cool. Okay, it makes sense now. There's only one angle you could put it in. I believe. There you go. There's also one, only one way to do X and Y in this for this figure. So here is her second pose. Do uh, I mean not do wearing? She's not using two one-handed swords. 
No, this is uh, her two-handing crap. So I don't know what sort this is. There's her looking not so happy at you. Oh, look at that. that light's in the way. That's it. Okay, I get it. She's looking that way. She's looking at the sword. Here's an image. Details. Look at those. Same thing with the boobs. Uh, actually, you know, her, her, her arms are supporting her. Never mind. She's not choking herself. Here's another shot. I like. I really like. I don't know why, but I like shots like these. With the weapon up in front of your face, and it's. I don't know. There's some more detail. Oh my god, shadows. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My shadow is there. So, this is a small recap what you get. You get two, two bodies, two upper body sections. They're replaceable. You get a uh, one handed. I'm going to guess this one, Fate Say Night, because this looks like this is probably Excalibur. Oh, look, I spoiled the show for you. And I don't know where these two swords are from. But yeah, you get one two-handed sword, but one it's also replaceable, so technically it's two. Uh, yeah, you get a base, instructions, and an awesome looking figure. But, I don't know, it says uh, Ichiban Kuji Premium, so the Ichiban Kuji Premium figure. So yeah, I forgot to do that. Oh, and if you guys want a color version of the, there's the color version, 10th anniversary. Oh yeah, I just noticed there's a type moon logo there. And a crown. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Ray signing out. Hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.